I think it's a, it's a good metaphor shaping a surfboard to how the, the Jewish people are. Because when I shape a board, I, I mean, I get a raw blank, which is very, it's hard. You need like a big planner first to go through the shells. But as you get to know them, they have a very, very good and big heart. To live in Israel, it's uh, interesting. You're learning that all the time people are against you. But when you start surfing, I find this uh, peaceful place in me, like I can run away and go surf. And this is a, a gift that I got, I think, from, from God. To me, everything over here is normal, but and since I started surfing, and it's a hobby that takes you around the world so much, you understand that living over here is the stress, I mean, it's not so normal. It's not so normal to grow up like that. It's not easy to be a surfer from Israel. The only things that you heard about Israel, it's only about wars and kind of stuff. I hope to change it maybe if they see a surfer from Israel. try to be the best and I want to be the best so I'll do whatever it takes. When there are waves everybody is like let's go for it. I've been surfing since my bar mitzvah. Surfing in Israel it's it's like all these worlds blending in one. It's incredible. Uh, for me, this is like a total escape from the realistic life. We were surfing here, and as you can see, over there, it's the border with Lebanon. When the missiles came, they came over from the hill and straight into the, into the water and, and into town. We had a good uh, surf. Gair, like, uh, boom, you know. We heard, like, uh, the drop, the bombs. When the missile hits the, the concrete, uh, you see all the holes here, the windows and all the, the building was with holes, big holes. Today, I'm raising two kids, two lovely daughters. I don't want them to know, no, no missiles, no war, no guns. I can't, I can't uh, think about peace. No. Even if we had peace over here, we wouldn't know what to do with ourselves. Nothing is really changing. What happened in the Holocaust with my family, just my grandfather survived. It was hard for my grandmother to, to trust any human being after the Holocaust. Anyone. She never trusted anybody. She, and she told us, don't trust anybody. The council, the only only place like the Jewish people go. To, it's just only Israel. The only place like you can feel at home. in this country so it's pretty cool to be one of them because it's uh, really special. I was born in Israel. My parents uh, make Aliyah to Israel from uh, Iran. My family has been here forever. <laughs> One thing that I'd like to see for the Israeli surfers and the community in Israel is that they would have a, a long-lasting, deep, heartfelt um, peace that would literally come uh, from the inside out. So it's really hard and it's really sad. A lot of cry, a lot of tears, but make you more stronger. 
I guess this is our situation.